Alright, so hey everyone, again, this is May Omi from Neat's Customs Creations. I want to welcome you all um, to Neat's Customs Creations Lounge, my crafting lounge. Um, I am going to be uploading just different videos of me doing different things because I get a lot of questions about how do I do certain things on my trays and my orders. Um, some of them will be paid tutorials because I do get more in depth with them. Um, but on these, I'll just show you guys more so some of the stuff that I do. Um, on this particular video, um, I am going to show you guys how I do just my standard um, photo trays. Um, the customer with this one, she requested a hunting theme. So I'm going to do more so like a camouflage type background and things like that. Um, and then you'll just see how I do. So... Um, and I also have my templates available for you guys to purchase. So generally I do these in Word. Um, they're a lot simpler and things like that. They work for me. <laughs> um, and which, like I said, you get everything on one tray when it comes to the photo trays. Um, so the way that I have it, I have it set up like this. This is for the tray. This is for my stash jar. Um, this is for the ashtray and that's for my lighter. Um, and that's generally the way they're set up. So what I generally do um, is I, to wait, the way that I get the shapes um, generally for these um, is in my shapes. So you would insert shape, click on whatever shape design you want. Generally I choose this one for that side, that. Um, and generally th that's how I insert that to make it neat and you know, particularly this size. Um, I do also like to add borders on, on my trays, on my picture, the main picture. Um, so you would just do your weight, you know, and then make the weight a little thicker. So when you cut it, that'll stand out more. So I do that. Um, so just for, for the sake of this video, the way that I'm going to do this, um, I generally come here. I choose picture to fill it. Um, have to see where I put this particular. Um, I don't know what I did with it. Okay, hold on, because I have so many pictures. Okay, so I put hunting here. So um, with this, I want to do a camouflage. So some of these are just things I downloaded. Um, the way that I do um, find these items is Google. Um, you can find so much stuff on Google. You just want to make sure that it doesn't have like any watermark stamps or anything like that on it because you don't want to give that to your customer. So for this particular background, I did a honey campo background and just different things came up. So that's what I choose for that. Um, so, all right, so we'll go back. So I'm going to see how this one looks. I'm going to double click it. Boom, it fills it in. I kind of like it. But I do see, like, they have watermarks that say advantage or something in there. Um, so let me see if my other one does, because I don't that one particular. Okay, this is better. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, is called is more so of a hunting background. I'm going to fill all my items with that same background. Um, so I'm going to chose this one. Yeah. So I'm going to fill everything with that, just to make sure that everything matches. Um, and you know, it can vary depending on how you want it. This is what my customer is wanting hunting. So I'm doing something to that aspect. Um, so the next thing you would do, I always insert in word, um, when I'm not working in Photoshop in word, I always insert a extra page for when I bring my images over. You can thicken this background. I mean, this border as well. Um, just so it's, you know, it has that when you're cutting, um, because I do cut all these designs by hand. Um, no matter how many orders I have, my photo trays are my babies, so I cut them by hand. Um, so with this to insert, I'm going to insert, she wants a, a actual buck deer on there. So I have three that I want to insert, so I'm going to choose all three of these. I'm going to hit insert down here so it's going to insert them. Um, actually, um, with them having backgrounds, um, I really don't want the background. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to do the remove the um, back 
background. Um, it's actually a website I go to to do that. Um, so you would go to remove.bg. Um, and in this website, it generally gives you the option to remove your background. So I want to definitely see how these deer backgrounds are going to come out. Sometimes you may be able to, sometimes you can't. It just does all depend on the picture. So I'm going to try this one first to see how it looks. If I don't like it, then I'll just figure out another way to use it. It looks pretty good. So with that, what I'll do is hit download. And it's going to put it into my um, downloads. I want to try um, the other images to see how they're going to look. Um, as well I like how that looks so I'm gonna download that and then I'm gonna try the last one with the just the headshot um, to see how that looks awesome awesome I love all three all right so I downloaded all three of those so they're all in my downloads so these I can remove because I'm not gonna use those now so I'll go to insert go to picture and now I'm going to go to my downloads because all three yeah, should be listed right here. Control, pressure control key to select all the images. All right, so they're all here. Um, so what I do, like see here it has all the extra space up top. You come over and just crop it down because you want to be able to stretch your images as much as you can. Um, so I do the same thing here. Format, crop, just so... Um, and just remove as much around the image as you can okay um, all right and then the same thing with this one we're going to crop it to make it right up on the image and with that feet already being cut off in that picture and i'll just bring this up a little all right so these are all my images um i also make them to where they'll be in front of my text so I go to text wrapping in front of text for all of my images all right so now I can bring them down a little and then I can place them on my thing and pretty much just really the quickness of it so I'm going to drag all of them up here um, and just make it look nice um, you always want to do it to your what you think will be to your customer satisfaction um, I know what my customer requested so I'm just going to make something nice you wanted a hunting thing um, so I don't think maybe these two might be look, may look nice um, so you'll just play around with it you know to make it look, look really nice um gonna see how this looks you know just to blend them in um, you know because she wanted something hunting so I like this for the most part um, and then I'm gonna put his name his she requested his name at the top as well um, so this is just something different unique um, so what I do to put it on all the other images is you just copy and paste so I have three more images so I'm gonna paste this three more well actually not paste it. I'm gonna delete it I mean once I paste it one time I'm gonna minimize it because I want to make sure it can fit on all my other images that I'm doing um, also with these um, type of designs for the um, stash jar I generally put my logo and my QR code um, just for the sake of something you know so they'll know I created it um, with this I don't know if my QR code is in here I know my logos so I have a lot of images um, so I'll bring this in I hate it because it mess everything up but I'll do this it's already a PNG image my logo um, so I'll just bring that down now my QR code um, it's in here somewhere so I will come over here 
and I think it's in documents. Um, and it's under need to discuss some creation miscellaneous documents. So my QR code, my logo is there as well, but um, I always crop down this QR code a little. Um, and this QR code, what it does is it takes people when they scan it with their phone, it takes them directly to my website. So that is a good thing to do. Um, and I can walk you guys through showing you how to create your own QR code. Um, this is, um, you're going to also make sure you bring that to the front, um, as well. So I minimize this for my logo and I generally sit it there. And with the QR code, I sit the QR code right underneath. Um, so these are two things that are always on my photo stash jars um, for customers. This flap is generally on the outside um, once everything is done. Um, with this as well, um, I generally try to find a very small corner maybe something like this just to put my logo in a small little corner um so it's very it's really not really noticeable but it's there um and so from there um with the one we copy here since it's more so small i will copy that one paste it again bring it over you're just going to make it just small enough to go in here it doesn't have you don't have to use all three um, when you're doing the smaller objects, maybe one or two, but you definitely want to make sure you have them similar as possible to the primary tray. Um, so I'll do this one next, which is going to be the headshot. Bring it down some, and you're going to just insert it here. I try to stretch them. You can stretch this up a little more because you want it to be a lot visible, um, as visible as possible keep this area over here because that flap is going to be covered by this flap so you're just gonna try to put these items um in the center of your stash jar label all right um, and you can bring this down a little because i am going to put his name right there um and then just the same thing more so i would do the headshot to go on my smaller items because all three may be hard. Oh, why did I do that? Um, but at least two, having two of those options would be a good fit. Um, on the lighter, you possibly can do all three. Um, I would just probably put like this one up there um, and then copy this one right click to paste it um, and then minimize it some and just like put it up there you know just to sit in whatever is cool to you because I to me it looks pretty nice all right um so you do that and that has everything now <clears throat> once we do that I want to create his name so I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go to word art um, generally for males, I try to use a thicker um, type font. So I'm going to start with this. It's not going to be the colors we want as of yet, but it's going to at least get his name. Um, his name is J, J-A-Y. <coughs> um, so we're going to start with doing that just by putting his name. Alright, so his name is Jay. So with that, you want to still make sure you text wrap it and bring it to the front. Because if not, it's going to be behind your um, item. So with his name, I am going to play with it a bit. Um, I don't like how wide that is. So I'm going to play with the fonts a little bit first. Because possibly I may be dragging these up, making um, this one a little bigger. Um, you know, and things like that. So, yeah, so something like that. Um, with his this foot sticking out a little, I would move it around some because I want to make sure it's inside my image. All right. Um, let's 
something like that. So let me see. Let me swap these two around and see how they look. this one looks in the middle may look nice so you just play around like i say to to what you think is nice because i always do it um just to make sure it's something that my customer would like i think me switching those around look really nice so i'm gonna do the same thing with the stash jar because i always try to make my stash jar an exact replica of my my tray um okay so just change them around, like I say, <clears throat> to whatever make, looks nice for you. Um, that's what I always do for my customers. Um, is you know I want it to look nice for them, but it I mean I have to literally like it um, for me to even say hey I'm going to give it to one of my customers. All right, so I got that with the name. I'm just going to play with it a little. Um, and with that so you depending on what type of fonts and things you have in here um you can use one of these what i'll do is i'll show you where you guys can find more fonts um let's see so we're gonna go to the font.com um and just so we can look for something on the site hunt hunting or something like you know hunting like that's a hunting you know just type in you know just to see if there's any image type for what you're wanting um i mean this looks fine for a hunting thing um let me see if i type deer like if something may come up um for that i mean but you don't have to use this um, but that's just an idea if you want to look for any other type of special fonts or anything like that. Um, you can come here um, just to see if there's anything here. Um, like now this is kind of cute, UFO Hunter. I kind of like that. So I'll download it um, on my computer because I just always look for cute fonts that I can use um, for other orders and stuff. So like this, the creepy hunter, that might be nice on this, but I'll try to see. I'm um, gonna like the weekend flower hunters. I kind of like that. All right, so what you do once you download that, that goes into your downloads folder. Um, in order to actually install them on your computer, and I have a lot of my downloads, um, you just double click on it and double click on it again, and you just hit install. Um, as long as it's not one that's already on your computer, it should install fine without an issue. Um, so this one has different ways you can do it, like UFO Hunter 3D and things like that. Um, I don't like how that one looks, so I probably won't download it. If it's something I don't like like this, it's just... Um, <clears throat> it looked fine on the other screen, but I don't like it. So I won't install this one. I'll end up just deleting on that one. Um, so that one I'm not going to download to my computer because I know I won't use it. Um, but this one, which I'll install that, and I'll actually probably use this one, the Creepy Hunter, when I'm doing his name because it kind of fits the theme. Um, and then you have the Weekend Flower Hunter one. Um, I like the signature text of that. Alright, so the one that I am going to go in to use will be the creepy hunter so i'm going to just minimize this i'm going to right click and edit again and i'm going to look for that um the creepy hunter because i have a lot of tech i mean um fonts is it was it the yep the creepy hunter so i'm gonna do that and i kind of like how that looks so with that we are going to just change the colors because we definitely want the colors to match this. So, my shadow effect, I'm going to go in and do, I'm going to do gray. Be a brownish color. So, you can just look up more shadow colors 
um, based off what you want um, your shadow color to be. You definitely want everything to match your theme. Um, so I'm going to do that for the shadow color. And then um, for the shape feel, I will probably do like more of a forest type green. Um, for the front, like I want to try to find a darker, maybe like that color dark. And then for the outline, it looks good with the black. So it kind of blends in everything with the same colors that he has. Now this is going on a black tray. Um, so I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to paste it down. So what I'm going to do is minimize it so that it will fit on my other items. So on my stash jar, I'm going to minimize it a little bit more. So it's just right there in the center. So when I wrap it, this is going to be like the center front. I'm going to do the same thing and minimize it, copy it, minimize it to where it fits in the ashtray. So you're just going to copy the same text so everything is exactly the same and you just copy to go on each item um, that you're creating for the set. So that's pretty much everything that I do in order to create one of my photo trays. This again, like I said, is a hunting thing. Um, and what I'll do since this is a thing that someone else may request, I'm just going to go to file, save as. And I got a file for my custom rolling tray picture templates. So I'll just change this to custom hunting theme photo tray set. So it's going to just save in here under other photo tray sets that I have. So it'll save. And pretty much that is it. Um, so what I'll do, um, I'll come back in the next video and I'll just, I'm going to show you the type of printer paper I use for it, which is cry cut printable vinyl. Um, I'm going to show you that and I'm going to show you a silhouette brand too that I really like um, as well. Um, it's just a lot more thicker. So I only use those really on my kids photo trays, but I will show you guys both kinds of what I use and then I'll show you the process of me um, getting everything put on the tray. Alright, so I will follow up with you with another video. Thank you guys for watching.